Evo, I believe. Right? Evo if you, if you brought your ticket Evo. to Evo thinking that Smash was going to be there, you might as well get into Skullgirls now. Um, and you should probably make smarter financial decisions, too. Uh, <laughs> but I bought them in bulk for the next 10 years! <laughs> that being said, uh, going to see Winner's Finals of Evie Dill, not too surprising. Um, but I, I do think it is interesting that BB opts to go uh, Lucario against Dill's Rob. I am pretty sure that against other Robs, he, uh, he does opt for Hero. But I think this, you know, it's worked out for him. BB is a player that was always kind of hovering at the cusp, you know, was getting the lock top eight all the time, then was getting top three all the time. And then starting, like, since we got back from, uh, you know, Zeno's break, just been consistently, like, he's, he's been winning. Winning, yes. Uh, I'm really excited for Collision this weekend. See what VV has in store. I, I really want to see VV go far, get like a good, good win. Cause I, I know VV has it in him for sure. What was that such recovery? Such a strong player and such a crazy recovery. Probably bouncing off. That was amazing. I don't know how that was. Okay, it didn't matter in the end because uh, Dill still managed to get stuck. But yeah. Oh, and really good spot touch. That's just like, the, you know exactly Rob's uh, laser timing right there. Was that tower coming down? Oh, what? That so, was a counter? So something interesting about Lucario's counter is not at all based off the move that it, Lucario is hit with. It's only based off the aura Lucario currently has. So you could like full charge F smash and it wouldn't do much if Lucario's only at 30%. So. Yeah, I I, I have something else to say about that, which once we get to the end of this on the replay, I'm going to talk about. In the meantime, though, we have to really dwell on how an even game this is. And finally, a little bit of uh, stage positioning for VB, but it disappears so quickly. It's, it can be hard to maintain uh, stage positioning against a solid Rob player like Joe. And it's just like at these mid percents, it's so much more scary, I feel like, for VB, because you don't quite have a crazy amount of aura. Now, now at 113, there's a better amount. Um, so Dill can just kill you at any time, but you can't really kill Dill yet. So it's it's uh VB has to be so careful to navigate Rob right here. This Yo. is like the most crucial percent range. Oh, just ran all the way through. Knew that he knew exactly where he was gonna be. Uh, great catch from Dill. That's uh, gonna be a stock lead here against Lucario. That matters a whole lot. VB's gonna have to put in a lot of work in order to. You can take this first stock here and has to be mindful on how much damage you can take. Like, I mean, you look can at die right now. Gyro in the hand. Yeah, yeah that's what I was about to say. Die. It's a lot of rage on Robin with a gyro in hand looking for it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I really like how Dill just uses Z Drop Gyro without doing like an aerial after. Just let that hitbox slowly float down and cover space. It's a really like creative option. I don't even see like any other ops do quite as much stuff. I've seen her do it. And wow, this is like five gyro hits in a row. This got to be frustrating. Ooh, but 56 with the stock aura. Gonna make that Rob explode. All right, and you know, if you are VV, this is not the end of the world for you. You've taken about 88, but that just means that you've finally become a real character. This is actually pretty bad. 100, 100 damage on your body with none on Dill is actually quite scary. Yeah, but that Aura Spear just did 24, so, you know, you can very quickly make it not no damage on Dill. Okay, but I'm sorry. Why is it that an Aura Sphere the size of a galaxy just gets eaten by a tiny gyro? It's like, who would win? But do you remember that uh, Rob is the devil and has the powers to That's sell your true. soul? true. Look at that! Yeah. Look at that! Oh, going for the upwards one. That trade was actually so pivotal. If either one of those hits connected without trading, it might have been the death of the other. Well, and right there, that was a little oh telling boy. from Dill. Just like down tilt, down tilt, up tilt, up tilt, kind of trying to force something and almost dying to that nair. I think Dill might have been holding away. Or maybe... uh, probably, because you know that you're going to die from back air regardless. So you might as well try and DI away to prevent getting oh. hit by a follow up. And right there, it was interesting. VB like air dodged inwards to get the tech, but then neutral tech, so still expecting the roll in. Didn't mash at all. That was so smart. I actually thought we were going to see a grab release, but no. That means that at this point, is dash attack enough to do it? Not at all. I thought they buffed them, who still not very strong, even with 140 aura. But these nares are almost going to do it. How are you living at 162 against Rukaria? That's going to be it. Finally, F tilt at the ledge. We've, we've seen that that's at those higher percents. Vivi loves to do that. It just covers a lot of options very safely. And finally was enough to 
take Dill down. Like, yeah, when the card gets to that point where like it's hard to find moves that don't kill, like where F tilt starts <laughs> killing and such, it just means his ledge game is beyond crazy because they're always gonna be thinking about Aura Sphere and then you play do things to play around Aura Sphere and you don't know what you're gonna get hit by. He has so many choices, so Really good stuff from Vivi, com staying composed, so used to making comebacks like that. It was down 100% the last time. And Dill, I feel like, was trying to force it a bit, I think. I think a bit more calmness from Dill um, to close out the stock could have gone a long way. That's, that is so much more easily said than done. I, I, staying I, I calm sure. against yeah, Vivi's Lucario. Don't be nervous. Don't ever be nervous. No, be, be nervous. It's human nature. It's okay. <laughs> Just accept it. <laughs> Ooh, that was cute. The, I like that using the forward air to approach, uh, and there's like no lag on it. Yeah, you can you can throw out another area before you reach the ground. So it's also like a little bit of a neat baiting tool. Thing Dill's been getting a lot of mileage of is these uh, gyra tosses, just like kind of making it so you can not get Orsphere going. Got her a lot of damage this stock, and oh, oh man. Okay, I just want to talk about Vivi has kind of a read on Dill's disadvantage right now, though. Like, was parried two projectiles in a row, and then immediately knew that the jump afterwards was coming and followed her. This is looking really good for Vivi. Taking that game one and that surprise comeback means that if this is it, he could seal the deal and uh, move on into Grand's winner's side. Right here. It's like, for Dill, you gotta ask yourself the question, like, you know, she's just kind of gyroing at the corner. What what are you gonna do to make this deficit go away? You know, that's... It's so crucial that you find something like that. I, yeah, I think it's worth noting that VV, that's because he, he approached. Yeah. <laughs> like, VV right. wasn't approaching, and things were fine. And then uh, he went in, and it was like one single hit ended up converting into his own death. So... For VV right now. Um, oh, what a confident walk away. Oh, look at all these Z drops. Yeah, I do really like the sound effect it makes, honestly. Some stage positioning here, trying to catch the landing. VV was expecting uh, Dill to go more towards center stage. As a result, now Dill's the one in control. All this damage. Oh, but Gyro in hand. One of the only disadvantages you can't really grab. Oh, the roll! That was that was scary. Honestly, there's a world where Dill gets that right there and just totally shifts the momentum of this match. But even so, she's still like Vivi had a stock lead. Now can die right here with only 70%. Good air dodge. All right. That back air, that back air from mid stage almost did it. Another one of those for uh, that probably saw the end for Dill. Oh boy. But I like this stuff, putting on all that pressure, the fear, not letting it take hold of her. Oh, that was so clean. The catch from Vivi right there into the tech chase. And that, wow, the dash pad. That was so good. It can be, for a lot of characters, it can be nigh impossible to. Okay, nice match. It can be nigh impossible to punish like a, a whiffed Rob Nair, but because there's so much displacement on that Aura Sphere, it was enough. Now though, 163% on Vivi. This is close to Max Aura. That oh, should be it. That's a deadly Cario. So close. And not, not even entirely Vivi's fault. I believe he thought the, uh, the Gyro would connect a combo into that dash attack, but still, was able to shield quite in time. Ooh. Oh, this could not have been so scary. Man, powering Rob's uh, neutral air is not enough. Yeah, and, and right here, see Dill just going for the Z drop there. Because if you do get that, there is potential to just take the stock. So it's honestly kind of start smart to try and force the issue because you really only need one, like theoretically, for also, Super on point. Question How does Z drop there interact with, say, like a th uh, thrown aura sphere? Um, I think if the, the gyro in the brief interval that it's oh God. Dill's death. Hold on a sec. We were... Every... How? Okay. So many of those stocks were, like, still surviving at 160 against a Max or a Lucario. And then Vivi at only 66% manages to finally get that extremely crucial read.
guaranteeing the set win. That's going to be Vivi and uh, winner, uh, winner side of Grands. Yeah, and also, completely a read from Vivi. Can we go back to stock two of game one? If we could. That's too far. Uh, yes, this one. Hold on a second. I just want to. I just want to dwell on this. So we did see the counter here. The extra nice thing about that counter is that if, uh, even if Bill, uh, Bill <laughs> Dill had uh, had sort of uh, tried to wait it out, this gyro was coming back down. Ooh. Yeah. So like the gyro was thrown up, gets up tilted. Even if Dill had stood there and waited. The gyro coming back down would have triggered the counter regardless, oh. which would have got Vivi out of that. So that was really smart and ended up converting into the stock form. Yeah, Vivi, I, I think it was really that's where Vivi won. Is Vivi just got more clutch stock conversions. Like, that, like, Dill just wasn't really getting anything super early, I feel like. And Vivi only needed, like, to get one or two early stocks a game um, to get the momentum going enough on his side right here. Nair, soft Nair, and two, if you get this tech chase read, you win. So Vivi just totally yeah, full set going well, for it. It's worth noting, not necessarily, because all Dill had to do was tech in. Well, I think that if, situation, if Vivi like hard red tech in, he could have Tech just forward smash the other way when we killed him, I think. Well, I, That's I, the if, thing. If he didn't dash forward and just like hard red the tech in maybe like to start charging F smash immediately. Even then, possibly, because that's a decent amount of space farther from the ledge. I don't know. To me, it is one of those sort of things where 